Hey, it's Tim Miller from The Bulwark, and uh, we have to talk about what is happening over on Donald Trump's little social media feed. I refuse to call it Truth Social, so we, we talk about his posts over there. We call them bleats, and um, he's been sending a lot of bleats, and I, I think that people don't see them. Like, Donald Trump being off Twitter in a weird way, I believe, has actually helped him, despite the fact that they that Trump and his supporters use this to feed and fuel their resentment and their grievance against the elites and the establishment and this t- big tech giants and all this like really it benefits Donald Trump that people do not you know see the mask off insanity that he posts over on this feed but I just want to read a couple of these to you and I just before I read them I want you to think about how, what you would feel like if you had a family member or a colleague that was sending all caps tweets saying things like, Radical left judge taking away my right to free speech in order to help crooked Joe Biden and his third world election interference scam. As good as this sounds, it won't work. I, I, it's, hard, I, I, it's hard to diagram that sentence that was sent at 1.05 a.m., I guess Halloween Eve. So very early in the morning <laughs> on Halloween. Uh, I don't know what Donald was dressed up as. I was dressed up as Jail Rudy, if that's something that interests you. That's one. Uh, seven minutes later, one twelve. Remember, crooked Joe Biden and his radical left thugs waited three years to bring these indictments, lawsuits against me right in the middle of my campaign. Again, if you had a loved one that was at one in the morning sending multiple all caps tweets about how about the president's radical thugs that are out to get them, I, you would you would think they need to be in a mental hospital. Okay, like you would think that they they might need help. So there might be somebody they need to speak to. Um, that that was uh, that was at one twelve a.m. Just as a matter of fact, by the way, if somebody's found this YouTube feed and they're out there and, and you're the type of person that's like, you know, Tim, maybe the deep state is after after Donald Trump. Maybe maybe he has a point here. Um, I, I here's the thing: the the judicial process. Uh, it, it's not as if we live in Russia, where where Joe Biden sits in a room with an with a unbelievably capacious table, and, and where he sits all the way at one end, and he dictates to his henchmen that so and so has to be jailed. I, that, that's not how this works. We have a, a extensive legal process that has prosecutors that has investigators they need to present evidence to a grand jury grand juries need to decide whether or not cases have enough evidence to go forward the grand jury is made up of regular people including donald trump supporting people and non-donald trump supporting people it's not you know it isn't you know the high council in robes that are deciding this it's just regular folks who got the bad draw of having to be on a Donald Trump grand jury. Um, we should be sympathetic to them um, that they had that they had to do that. Uh, then from there, things have to go to court where there are judges. If you, if you have a judge you don't like, many of the judges Donald Trump has appointed himself. If there's one that you think is being unfair, is biased, you have opportunities to appeal. Uh, and this is a system with many many checks and balances. It's not as if the our judicial system is perfect. There are plenty of complaints about the criminal justice system, but the idea that like they waited three years to do this right in the middle of the campaign uh, just shows that, that he believes that the people that he's talking to about this are stupid and have no experience with what the criminal justice system is actually like and why these things take time and why this is a process. It's, the fact that it's taking time, it actually shows that Donald Trump's been treated well. Okay, If the radical left thugs just wanted to put him in prison, uh, you know, Joe Biden's been in there for a while. He could have done that already. Okay, We've got more here. Three hours after that. 1 12 a.m. to 4 24 a.m. When is he sleeping? This is a qu- question about whether or not he's getting any rest, I think is something to think about. Um, all caps, election interference. Um, okay, so that's on 31st. I, I, I want to fast forward to today. We've got some more. The rig trial brought by the racist New York State AG, Letitia James. Note that Donald Trump always likes to call black women racist. Before Trump and developer hating judge. Arthur Engeron, uh, which should have never been brought in that so-called all-cap star witness sleazebag lawyer, in quotes, for many people, Michael Cohen, his old lawyer, admitted last week on the stand that he lied and also that your favorite president, Donald J. Trump, or anyone from the Trump organization never told him to inflate. Okay. If it was a person on a street corner that put this up on, on one of those cardboard signs, uh, um, like you would really you would really be seeking seeking medical attention right now. You know, he goes on 
uh, in this post to say that Mar-a-Lago is worth much, much more than, what is that, 18 million? Uh, you know, at times he's said that Mar-a-Lago is maybe the most valuable property in the world. Uh, like this is, this is a person that that has that is law that if he ever had touch on reality has completely lost it. He goes on. He sends then another bleat about Engeron and then another bleat about Engeron today. This guy is ostensibly running for president, not seeing much of anything. Oh, here's one thing from Halloween night. It's pretty spooky, so it's appropriate he'd send it on Halloween night. Rebleeding a post of Marjorie Taylor Greene endorsing him and talking about how he's going to win. So, uh, you know, that's what happens. We also have another post here uh, from Mike Davis. I did another video, and you should go back and check. Mike Davis is the is the MAGA influencer that has the plans for the gulag and sending never-Trumpers to Guantanamo and all of these other illiberal um, uh, autocratic desires. Uh, that that same Mike Davis, Donald Trump, rebleeded a post of his that targets specific judges and specific Democratic donors and activists. This is pretty scary stuff. It's wild. This is an insane person. Um, somebody has to be watching it. We did the video yesterday about, how, for some reason, the nightly news has decided this isn't important anymore. They're trying to move on. I, I think it's pretty important when one of the two people who are the most likely to be the next president is out there making wheels off unhinged attacks on on judges, on prosecutors, on on private citizens, on his social media feed, especially when that person has already had a track record of stoking a mob to violence. The fact that he's out there doing that, the fact that this is the thing that consumes his mind, it seems like late in the night, into the mornings, you would think at some point maybe calmer heads would prevail. Uh, but a big part of the reason why they haven't is because everyone's ignoring this and they're just treating, tweeting him like, treating him like he's the crazy uncle, you know, who is, you know, ranting in their rocking chair at the end of the night on, th- on Thanksgiving after having too many bourbons and, and everybody's just like, oh, just, just don't, just don't pay attention to uncle Johnny. Okay. Just don't pay attention to him. All right. Just let him rant at the TV. Just let him rant at his stories. That's, that's Donald Trump. That's the guy that's the, uh, presumptive nominee of one of our two major parties to be the next president again. Pretty alarming stuff. The nightly news might not think it's important. We do. We're going to keep watching it. Hey, if you like this video and our content, I'd love for you to become a Bulwark Plus member. You get bonus podcasts. uh, You get bonus newsletters. You get bonus takes from me that maybe don't come up on the YouTube feed. Um, You can try it out for free at thebulwark.com slash free trial. The link is below in the description. Uh, We'd love to have you as a member of our community. Uh, We have great commenters and uh, great opportunities for people who want to protect democracy.